Bear Growing Up Black's a Kid. Today we're making Monster Chocolatey Trifle. Hi guys, this is Ruby with GrowingUpLexican.com and today I'm here to show you a super fun and creative way to take something delicious to a Halloween party. This is our Monster Chocolatey Trifle and what I love about trifles is that you can customize them to however and whatever you like. I like to make mine extra extra chocolatey so I will be using chocolate pudding, Baker's semi-sweet chocolate put into the food processor to make it nice and fine, fun size Snickers also put into the food processor to give it a little texture. You will need Pillsbury's new bold purple cake mix and Oreos also put in through the food processor. And we will also be using other fun size chocolates like the Snickers the Reese's, and the Kit Kat to make our little monsters. Pick a bowl that's deep enough so that you can put several layers of all your goodies. Now like I said, what I love about trifles is that you can customize them to whatever you'd like. Check out Walmart's seasonal groceries section and you'll see all the different kinds of candies and cake mixes that you can use for your trifles too. So let's start layering. First you want to start layering with pudding. So grab a spoon and layer it in. Then you want to grab the cake and crumple some in. Like I said, this doesn't have to be perfect. You just want to make sure that the layers show on the side. That's what makes it pretty. And in this case, oh, so spooky. Next, add a little bit of crunchiness with your fun size Snickers. And push it up on the side so that you can really see it. Don't worry about not covering the middle as much. You can always put enough pudding that will cover that. Next, do some more pudding. And this one you do want to put leveled. So make sure you get it all through. We've got a lot to cover in this bowl. So make sure you push it up to the sides. And start again. Cake. I should also mention that Pillsbury has the bold colors not only in purple, but red, blue, and orange. Next what you want to get is a little bit of that chocolate and we're going to be creating like a graveyard dirt area and this is where the monsters will be coming out of. So you want to add a little bit of that on top and this the reason I put it in the food processor is because it makes it powdery and it makes it dirt like. And we'll leave some aside so when we put our monsters in and next you'll put the cookie crumble. This is also dirt looking and this is, like I said, Oreos, and we probably used about a row of the Oreos. And you just want to put it all over. Doesn't have to be even, it can look like the ground. So move it around and have fun with it. Now comes the fun part, and this is where the kids can help. Now you build your little monsters using crazy eyes. I found these at Walmart in the scrapbooking area or in the cards area. And what you're going to do is you're going to grab a chocolate and I purchased the monster bag that they have at Walmart also it has 215 pieces. I'm already going to buy chocolate for uh, the Halloween uh, trick or treaters so I might as well pick a few of those for our uh, little dish here. So grab your monster, grab some silly eyes, paste them on and put them in. You can also do lollipops. Those come out really cool and just stick them in. I use the Hershey's as little tombstones to put behind them or little doors. They look really cute. Can you just put them all over the place? Here, let's put a little bit more. How about a one-eyed monster lollipop? That'll be fun. Remember, the more monsters you put, the cooler your dish will be. So. Please remember that these eyes are not edible. They are stickers and remind your guest, but please put as many monsters as you'd like in your trifle for this monster chocolatey trifle. Get more details on our blog at growinguplexican.com for the full list of ingredients. And there you have it. All our monsters are in and check out our cool trifle layers. I can't wait to take this over to our next party. Like I said, head on over to the blog to get ingredient list and more information of cool things you can for your trifle at walmart.com and your local Walmart stores. As always, thanks so much for watching, liking, and subscribing. Till next time.